What's up guys, welcome to another session of Quick Bits. Today we're going to be looking at Samurai Showdown. I rented this game often back in the day and I used to love it so much. What can I say, I love fighting games and I love the Samurai aspect of it. Samurai Showdown is a 1-2 to two player fighting game. It was developed by SNK and released in 1993. If you know SNK, you know they developed some of the best fighting game franchises ever such as Fate of Fury, Out of Fighting, World Heroes, and the King of Fighters series. You start off by picking from a range of characters set in the 18th century. There's a mixed range of characters, some come from France, some come from USA, Japan, and China. It's interesting, it's set in feudal Japan, but there's a range of characters from different foreign backgrounds, so it's not historically correct. All the characters wield weapons, and Samurai Showdown was one of the first fighting games to focus primarily on weapon based fighting. All characters are unique and they have their own special moves. The combat system is not focused on flashy combos but rather hard hitting slashes and attacks. There's also a few unique things that Samurai Shodan employs. Slow motion is employed when a player gets hit hard so I guess this is to add intensity to the match. When players take and receive damage their power meter builds up. As the power meter builds up your player also turns bright red. Once the power meter is maxed the player's attacks deal more damage. Players can also occasionally lock weapons. Once this happens, you have to mash your buttons repeatedly and quickly to beat your opponent. If you lose this, you drop your weapon and you have to pick it up. Another unique aspect of the game is that there's a delivery man that throws bombs or chickens that restore your health. This can dramatically change the outcome of the battle. So here's why I love Samurai Shodan. I love the feudal Japan setting, I love ninjas, samurais and flashy special moves. Most of all, I love the cool characters. I pretty much like every character that's in the game. Even the referee looked awesome. I mean the referee. I had myself speaking Japanese for a while, trying to copy what he says. I had myself repeating these lines a million times. The fact that it's entirely weapon based is awesome as well. It added a spin to the genre back then. Having random items in a battlefield and the slow motion was a bit different. With that said, the game can do with a little less slow mo, because uh, it does slow the momentum too much. Some characters have a lot of special moves and some only have a couple. I'd love for those characters to have a few more. The music's also a bit quiet and slow, very Japanesey, but I think it adds authenticity. There's a reason why I spent a lot of money on Samurai Showdown. Great game, great characters, very balanced, different to the others in the genre. And Samurais and Ninjas, how can you go wrong? 